So I've gotten a lot of comments asking, how do you dual boot open core? And my response is pretty much all the same. It's pretty hard unless you have two drives. And that's just because it's a lot harder to dual boot on the same drive with open core than it is on Clover because open core injects ACPI and NVRAM on every OS installed on your drive. However, with a guide from you slash junkie slip on Reddit, I think I've finally found a way to safely and easily dual boot with open core on the same drive. You'll only need a few things, which are an eight gigabyte flash drive or larger, an internet connection, and a Hackintosh. It will not work if you're trying to Hackintosh and you have Windows installed, you will have to Hackintosh and then follow this guide. All links and code that you need will be down in the description below. So first you'll need a Windows 10 installer, and this can be done through Windows via the Windows Media Creation Tool, which I highly recommend and prefer, but you can also do it through macOS, through Bootcamp, or using a Windows 10 ISO file. There are a lot of guides online on how to do it in macOS. So once you're done creating your installer, you'll have to create a partition in macOS for Windows. You can do this by opening Disk Utility and clicking View and then Show All Devices at the top. Select the name of your drive and then click on Partition and Partition again. So now we can make our partition for Windows. Rename the drive to Windows and format it as XFAT or FAT32 and then drag the slider on the left side to resize the partition. You won't be able to resize the partition without erasing everything, so choose an amount of space you'll think you'll need for Windows. Then create the partition and then shut down your PC so we can begin installing Windows. When you boot your PC back up, boot off of the Windows installer. Now, normally we would just use the installer to install Windows, but unfortunately that will cause complications between OpenCore and the Windows Boot Manager, so we need to install it via the command line. First, continue through the installer until you reach a screen with a list of partitions. Find the one that you made in macOS called Windows and erase it. Now that we have the necessary space on our drive, we can begin installing Windows. Exit out of the installer and press Shift and F10 to enter the command line. Type disk part and then list disk. We want to select the disk we want to install Windows on, in my case, disk zero. Type select disk X, where X is the number of your drive. In order for us to boot Windows, we need three different partitions. We need an EFI partition, an MSR partition, and a primary partition. The EFI partition is kind of like our EFI folder on our open core. The MSR partition is reserved for Windows for later use, and the primary partition is where we can download and install apps and files to. We'll start with the EFI partition. First type, create partition EFI size equals 100. This will create an EFI partition with a size of 100 megabytes. Now we need to format it. Type format quick FS equals FAT32, label equals in quotation marks system. This will perform a quick format with a file system type of FAT32 and a name of system. Then we need to assign a drive letter by typing assign letter equals in quotation marks S. Now we can create our MSR partition by typing create partition MSR size equals 16. Since we don't need to access it at any point in the installation, we don't need to do anything else to that partition. Lastly, we'll create our Windows primary partition by typing create partition primary. Then format the drive by typing format quick fs equals ntfs label equals windows. Assign a drive letter by typing assign letter equals in quotation marks w. Now that we have all the partitions that we need, type list volume to show the volumes. Take note of the letter of your USB stick, the EFI partition that we created, and the primary Windows partition we created. I recommend taking a picture of it so that you don't have to run the command multiple times. Now type exit and hit enter, then type dism slash get dash wim info slash wim file colon d colon backslash sources slash install dot esd. If you made your installer in macOS, replace esd with wim. Replace d with the letter of your USB drive. This will show us the available Windows and versions that we can install. Take note of the index number of the Windows version you want, in my case, index one, since I want to install Windows 10 Home. To install Windows, Type this command that's on the screen and replace D with the letter of your USB drive. Again, if you made your installer in macOS, replace ESD with .wim. Once it's done, Windows will be installed on the drive, but we need to copy files to the EFI folder in order for the Windows Boot Manager to work. We can do this by typing bcd boot w colon backslash windows slash s s colon slash f uefi. The first argument is using the bcd boot program. The second argument is specifying the locale, 
The third and fourth arguments are used to specify our EFI partition, and UEFI means we will be using the UEFI booting instead of BIOS booting. If you want to see the full Microsoft documentation for this, I will leave a link for it in the description below. Now that we have Windows installed, shut down your PC and boot off of Windows Boot Manager or the Windows partition in OpenCore and install Windows. Once you're done with installing Windows, shut down your PC and boot off of the OpenCore EFI partition to see both macOS and Windows listed. All you have to do to switch between the two is just use your arrow keys in OpenCore to choose between Windows and the name of your macOS drive. And that's how you dual boot Windows and macOS on the same drive with OpenCore. If you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord from the link in the description and ask me questions in there. All links for every guide will be in the description below as well. All right, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe for more tech content, and follow me on Twitter at RealBrandonYen. All right, see you next time.